Hey folks, good morning. Um, I hope you all had a good night. <clears throat> and, uh, I did. I had a bit of a technical issue on my end. So unfortunately, I didn't draw my team. This morning, to be to show my team in Liberia the thing to show. Well, that doesn't feel too well. That's not a reason. Because I, I do the show without him any, anywhere. He's not able to come. We should speed of recovery. Um, driving Henry to school this morning. It's sunny. Morning, Delaware. Beautiful, bright. So you can feel, you can see the sun ray casting on my face as I'm driving. Thank God to be alive. Uh, it's been a beautiful day to look forward to. So just a couple of things. Uh, yesterday, the National Executive Committee, the COP, this is the highest decision-making body, the COP, had a meeting. There were uh, 18 people in total in attendance in this meeting. And... Uh, these, these uh, attendees, these executive officials, uh, they are the heads of the various chapters of the COP and the central leadership. Uh, the Europe chapter was represented by its chairwoman, Madam Francis Power, uh, Sister Yasu Johansson was there. Sheikh Jabate was there. Brother Fokpa Carter was there. As you believe in different countries in Europe. And uh, who else in the Europe chapter was present? Uh, Sister Testimony Doga was also present in the Europe chapter. Um, and I think a few others. The Minnesota chapter, who had Chairman Maurice Dugley present. Vice Chair for Administration of the, of the Minnesota Chapter. Uh, Moiba Salib was present. Uh, and Youth Wing Chair Mohammed Corning was present in the Zoom meeting from Liberia. Mr. Stephen Johnson is the National Coordinator of the COP Diaspora. He coordinates all of the chapters across the world. He was present. Mr. Benjamin Sandy, who is an executive of the COP was also present in the meeting yes yesterday and tons of other people of course were in the meeting and um, so the COP del deliberated on a number of issues and uh, particularly on the agenda uh, the COP decided the executive leadership decided to carve a response to the very unfortunate allegations and the claims made by a former member of the COP, Representative Kolba, and uh, the statement was drafted and it will be issued today. I'm not going to tell you what's in the statement. Uh, that statement is signed by 18, 18, all at eight, 18 or 20, 20 of the people who were present in the meeting yesterday. Uh, all of them, unanimous decision in one voice. Uh, so they are responding. I am not a signatory to the statement. Uh, I am not signing. Uh, it is their statement. So the statement will be published today from the COP, the National Executive Committee, the highest decision-making body of the COP. So the statement will be out today and you will see what's in the statement. Uh, I also did an interview with the VOA on Saturday. They ran the interview this morning. Uh, uh, 
I uh, my my uh, one of my uh, guys in Liberia recorded it from the radio, but it's a little it's a little distorted. So I'm gonna get the I'm I'm gonna find it. I I, I just instructed them to go on the website and view the web, website, find the link to the interview and 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 pull it so that uh, we can release it for you to hear it. It's a very interesting interview uh, with James Botti on the VOA uh, regarding allegation from, uh, you know, that I'm trying to destabilize the CPP and just, you know, talking about my support for Joseph Walker and why I support him for president, standard bearer of the CPP and ultimately president of Liberia. So that interview uh, I will publish once my guys find a link and we extract it from there. And if you are listening, you're one of my people and you want to help, you, you may go on the VOA website and try to find the interview. I think it's their program called Daybreak Africa. Uh, be a good sport. Try to help. Find it for me and send it. I would appreciate that. Henry, have you eaten your sandwich? Did you eat your grapes? Okay. Yeah, so the, um, uh, I will make sure the VOA interview is out, as well as the statement from the COP, very strong statement. Uh, they've, they've already done their statement, and it's going to be published. Today. So you should look forward to it. Okay. Um, you know, uh, there was an allegations made, and the, and the COP decided that they can't keep quiet. They have to speak. And I'm not the one speaking, they are the ones speaking. 20 executives of the CEO, from Liberia to Europe to America. Um, as I said earlier, if you're just joining, sorry I couldn't be on the show this morning. I had a bit of a technical problem from my end. I couldn't join my team to do the show. Maybe this afternoon I'll do a podcast. It's something I like to speak about. You know, I will say, I will say this, right? Rodney C. A. is a good friend of mine, very good friend of mine. We have been there for each other, and I, I value our friendship. I really do. But there comes a time when you have to tell your friends the truth, the truth, and you have to put a, you have to put them in check when they're not being fair, especially when they're working to undermine your interests. So uh, it's just who I, who I am. I, I tell my friends the truth and, um, you know, and, 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 and Rodney knows this about me. He's been on the campaign, you know, publishing all kinds of things that are not true. Um, actually manufacturing stories, creating news agencies and news organizations, putting words in Joe Boagai's mouth, and uh, all kinds of things. He, he's, he's just going very far, you know, <laughs> and, and, and it's just, it, it is not journalism at all. It is not journal, journal, journalism, it's, uh, it's what they call, uh, you know, uh, yellow journalism you know and, and it's just unfortunate extremely unfortunate fortunate, fortunate. but i get that uh unfortunately for my friend rock this year um only a handful of people would read his paper but tens of thousands of people would listen to what i have to say that's unfortunate part. like this podcast i'm doing right now by the time I'm done in a few hours or before the end of the day, maybe 30, 40,000 people will have watched. And um, that is not something a newspaper is going to nowhere near that. I'm sorry. Maybe my friend Rodney knows that fact. But uh, I just want to publicly say that uh, when you write these lies and these, uh, these stories that are inspired and informed by your partisan posture, and views and the interests. It is only incumbent upon me to 
respond. And sometimes, uh, you know, your friends are not happy when you respond to them in public. For example, uh, let me do a little free pu pu uh, publicity for Rodney. Go and grab, uh, go online and find the front page of Front Page Africa today. See what Rodney writes today. <laughs> if you expose themselves, the headline today is Rodney is talking about something exactly one of the things that we have blown the alarm about that was changed in the CPP framework document, which is the exit clause. In the original framework document, which the four political leaders signed onto, there is no provision in that document which states that a member of the CPP, if and when it desires to leave, cannot leave. They didn't put that there. They didn't say that when you won't go, you can't go. It's not there. But guess what? The version that made its way to the National Elections Commission has a clause in it that says, if you want to leave, you can't leave. Like you're in a marriage, and this marriage, you cannot divorce. There is no divorce in a marriage. If I'm in a marriage and I believe the marriage to be abusive and uh, I want to leave the marriage, you can tell me that I cannot leave the marriage. But now you're wondering, who would that clause benefit? The clause that you cannot leave the CPP if you wish to leave. Who does it benefit? I want to hear you, folks. Think now. Folks. We can't do all the thinking for you. Who does that clause benefit? Trying to tie the others in a CPP that they can leave if they want to leave. Who does that clause benefit? It doesn't benefit the United Party. Really, it doesn't. Because if the CPP did not exist, and United Party and ANC and the other parties were on their own, mathematically speaking, based on the numbers that we have, the United Party is poised, is most likely, among all the four political parties that make up the CPP, United Party is most likely to go to a runoff election with the incumbent Joshua. It's a given. Look at the numbers. In the last six presidential elections, Unity Party has come either first or second in the last six presidential elections. There you, there you go. So listen now. One of the discoveries that was made in the altered framework document is that there is a clause enshrined that you cannot leave if you want to leave if you feel the marriage is abusive, if you feel the marriage is not good for you, you cannot leave. Who put the clause there? Joe Baka is not aware of that clause. Ben and I is not aware of that clause. Yomli Kanga Lawrence is not aware of that, that clause. Some of, some of you are saying, but why are they not speaking? Why is Yomli not saying these things? Why is Joe Baka not saying these things? Why are you not saying these things? Because there is an investigation going on. They cannot speak up publicly whilst an investigation is taking place you see that's why they're not speaking publicly but those of us who speak with them privately know what they're saying know what they discovered know what they're concerned about they didn't put a clause in the framework document that says if you want to leave you cannot leave they didn't put that clause there so who put that clause there? now who does it benefit who does it benefit that you cannot leave if you want to leave. The people who need the others to win. The man who can't cross the river by himself because he can't swim. He needs to sit on the other man's shoulders while the man swims across with him. Is a man who, is, who will say, by the time you put me on your shoulder, you cannot put me down until we cross the river. That is a man. Let me repeat. You know, I like to make these little analogies that make sense or that uh, it may sound a little you know funny but yes Last time a gingerbread 
Did you want climb on the fox back? Okay, fine, Henry. Do you want a banana? Do you want a banana? I don't want to. I don't. I don't want you to mess up your clothes. So, you know, I'm. I'm gonna spare that. So listen. Who does it benefit? That the others cannot leave, and then they get their guy Rodney C. My own good friend. Again, he's he's my he's, he's my friend. So when I talk about him, even though I disagree with what he what he's doing, uh, but I will still criticize what he writes. He's still my friend, and I still love him. Then they've exposed their hands. So today, my friend Rodney C. Interestingly, publishes a story that says. Don't forget, oh, you can't leave CPP. Even if you want to leave, there's a clause that stops you from leaving. Oh, one of the things we are complaining about in the framework document that originally was never in the document is something that my friend Rodney C. writes about today. Hello, folks. I know you all. You are smart people. Isn't it interesting that my friend Rodney C. does a big front page story? <laughs> Telling the, the, the whole country, all the handful of people who read his paper, that don't forget, oh, there is a clause in the CPP framework document that you can never leave. Is it a Catholic marriage? You know what a Catholic marriage is, right? In the Catholic Church, they don't do divorces. You know, you know that, right? I don't know what they've changed that. But you don't divorce when you're a Catholic. You just stay together. The marriage is bad. Your husband beats you. He treats you whatever, whatever way. You cannot divorce. So this is like a Catholic marriage. So, Rodney C., interestingly, publishes a story today about one of the clauses, one of the altered, one of the alterations in the CPP framework document, one of the additions, because it was never there, they added it there. So, it's interesting. And if you didn't know, you would say it's a coincidence that Rodney C., would publish such a thing, reminding people, hey, don't forget, oh, you cannot leave, oh. There is an exit clause. This clause says you cannot exit, you cannot with withdraw. This is a Catholic marriage. You're in this marriage to death. Then interestingly, some communist people are on Facebook saying, they in the marriage, yo, they ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you know, there's another friend, uh, she's very close with Musa Bilete. I will not call her, her, her name. She was, she was posted. These people think they're so smart. They expose themselves. The, the lady was on Facebook saying to people that you can't leave the CPPO. And they won't go. They're not going nowhere. They, we, we, we will die together. Oh. You see? This is one of the clauses, one of the things that was never in the original agreement that they put in the, the one they amended. Nicodemus Lee amend it. Then their guy Rodney C. runs with it. He does a story. You see, when, when you bring the kids to school, like I'm doing right, right now, you have to put this. This is given to each parent. His, his mother has one, and I have one. And I put it in the dashboard. And then, okay. These cars are in a line. Hold on, I'm going to show you. You see? There's a long line. I'm going to go like that, like in that circle, drop him off, and then come back. So hold on. Sorry, my big hand covering the screen. So, interestingly, my friend Rodney publish, publishes this story today that you want to leave, you cannot leave. And then, the communist people on Facebook saying, oh, no, 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 nobody can leave. Oh. They were us. They're posting. We had their comments. We took screenshots of their, their comments. The things that were never in the agreement that they put in the, in the framework agreement or the framework doc, doc, document, they on Facebook saying, they, <laughs> and, oh, oh, we, we would die together. They're not going nowhere. What does that tell you? It was never in the original document. Now it's in this other document. And then they got their guy Rodney CA with it. Go make, I say, let me help him today. Free publicity. Go see his his uh, his front page opposition exit uh 
Dalema. That's I, I believe that's the title. That's the title of the headline. Opposition exit Dalema. So the Dalema is if UP won't leave, they can go. <laughs> Come is holding UP. <laughs> Joe, Joe Baga, you ain't going nowhere. Who that again, Joe? No, Joe, Joe Baga. You, <laughs> I, I need you to be president. <laughs> I will hold you. We'll go down together. <laughs> because Joe could leave with a man Yuri and maybe Yumbly and they could make it. They don't need ANC. But ANC is it. All of you. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> Joe Baga, <laughs> you're not going nowhere, baby. <laughs> the presidency here, <laughs> for me to get it, I gotta I will go down with you. Then their guy wrote a publicist story. Is it not coincidence? Go read it, man, people. Then, you know what he did? He quoted the thing right on our A. Go read it. He said, eh, this is the cross. And the cross was not in the document. Oh. My people, y'all, y'all listen. Oh. So who benefits? Who benefits from the exit clause? Boaka doesn't need the exit clause. Boaka and his allies, Yuri, and Yumbly could leave the CPP, they will still be strong without the ANC. The ANC is the one that needs the CPP more. I'm saying, I'm saying Joe Baga doesn't need CPP. Oh, that's not what I said. Oh, I said, who needs the CPP more? If there was no CPP, we had elections. Unity Party is likely to come second or first in the election. Because in the last six presidential elections, since 2005, Unity Party has either come first or second. You see that? This is mathematical. This is based on empirical data, which is ir irrefutable and indisputable. But the people who need the CPP to be president, by the way, are the people who enshrine this clause nicodemously to force the others to remain in this union even when they believe that this union is no longer good for them now you understand then the terror man rodney rodney publish that one yeah publish that one uh, you know we want to make sure we remind them that nobody can leave <laughs> they're not going nowhere then the communist people on facebook posting oh, <laughs> they're not going nowhere yeah, don't forget oh, the clause says that you can't you can't leave even if you want to leave but the clause will be changed the report is coming out soon maybe the end of this week the report the committee is investigating they will identify all of the clauses all of the changes that were made to the framework document and then they are going to recommend the recall the withdrawal of the framework document that mr Cummings submitted to the c to the nec to the national elections commission they will recall it and then they will send the original one they signed. They will send it back. That's what's going to happen. You want to tie me in a marriage that is abusive? I'm not happy in a marriage? You put a clause in a marriage contract that says I cannot divorce? When I didn't put it there, we, you and I didn't put it there. If you and I have put it there, fine. I didn't put it there. You want, you go put it there. Then you won't hold me in a marriage. And say I cannot leave even if I want to leave. Then you on Facebook, you're celebrating it. <laughs> then they're not going nowhere with Tad. You see, they say they're smart. You're not smart. We are smarter than all of you. We are smarter than all of you. My sister Amy Ryder, good morning, love. I hope you're doing good. Happy belated birthday. Happy belated birthday to your darling sweetheart. I saw the post you made. Hmm? My Maryland chapter chair, Mr. Thomas Antumana, a wonderful, hardworking man. Mr. Antumana, this podcast is exclusively dedicated to you. Happy birthday to you. Exclusively, 100% dedicated to you. Happy birthday to you, Mr. Thomas Antumana, the chairman of the COP Maryland chapter. I thank you for everything you've done for the COP. Your chapter is one of the newest chapters. You guys have done a fantastic job procuring masks and donating to our people back home in the country to help in the COVID crisis. I wish you a blessed, blessed 
uh, birthday and I pray that God will in his infinite grace and mercy increase your blessings bountifully may you live to see many 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 more returns of your birthday in great health great spirits in uh, peace and joy so you see what I'm saying they put a cross I don't know for some reason the comments are not moving they, they, they're still what's what's happening it's kind of strange I don't see the comments moving they're still I don't understand what's happening so they have us locked in they say we can we can go they think they're smart then they get rid of the publicity one of the things that was never in the original agreement all all of a sudden they run around on facebook eh? y'all can't go y'all just be vest you're not going nowhere and y'all say y'all won't go you're not going nowhere y'all will stay y'all uh, we will die together <laughs> yeah we are always here that we're moving our clothes when there. That clause was not there. And we remove that clause, and you'll be misbehaving when we won't go all through the uh, Liberty Party, ALP, and UP, just leave and leave and, 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 and just leave. <laughs> My people, listen, let me ask you a question. Even though I can see your comments, for some reason, the comments are not. They're not. But if you're in agreement with me, just hit the like button or hit the love button. If you're in agreement with me, because I can't read your comments, I can't. If you agree with me that we, that clause they not put in, they not put inside that we're not there that they're running around with, eh? y'all can't go y'all can't go nowhere. Just hit the like button. You want to tie all together? The marriage not working. It's abusive. Y'all can cheat. You know, yeah, y'all can cheat. Y'all can do all that thing. Eh? Y can, then y'all say we must just be in the marriage with y'all. We're moving our clause, and we're moving our clause, and you keep misbehaving in the marriage. What should we do, folks? You just hit the like button, the love button. I see it. I see your reaction, folks. You love it. You like it. Or we move across. Or you keep acting frisky. You keep cheating. You keep tempering or organizing it. What do we do? We just leave you there. We go. We leave you one there. Liberty Party, ALP, and United Party. We were not born to be in marriage. So if marriage not working, you won't go. You go. My people love what I'm saying. Because my people believe this to be the truth. And believe that be reasonable. So, what are the odds, folks, that their main rotten see will go publish a big story today? <laughs> Don't forget, oh, CPP agreement say you can't go nowhere. Oh, we can't go nowhere. How interesting that one of the things we discovered that was never in the original agreement all of a sudden it appears in the new one. Then their main rotten see run away. Oh, what a play! You can't go nowhere. <laughs> we'll die now. We will die together. Then they are little sorry, sorry guys on Facebook posting. <laughs> yeah, don't forget <laughs> they marriage here. Yeah? <laughs> we we're going down together. We we'll remove it, and then when when we remove it now, they will stop acting frisky. You know because let's say you marry, you a woman, you wear high. I'll put it in case no woman. You can we can always say example with a man. You're high working woman, high working woman. You marry the joker. You got your own money. You got your own thing going. You marry the joker. Yeah, he's a lazy guy. I know some guys are very lazy. They live off of women. You marry the lazy guy, right? The lazy guy ain't like working Benny. You make all the money. Then you ain't getting married. He, because he know he's lazy and he won't live off of you. He, he can't make it on his own. He can't live that lifestyle on his own because of your money he won't live on. Then he signs and they, he put in your marriage contract that you that you can't divorce. You didn't see the the original marriage contract, you two are ready. You sign it. After you finish signing it. The man go take your signature piece and, and, and attach it to the other document and say you can't divorce from the marriage because you know why he needs you in a marriage you don't need him yeah maybe you need him for some for some things you know maybe other 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 things but he needs you more than you need him so he wants to keep you in a marriage even when you're not happy and you want to leave he doesn't want you to leave because he needs you in order to have that lifestyle that your wealth that being married to you has afforded him that they want to do here. They go, they temper with the document, they put that clause there that says, we can't go. Even if we want to go, we can't go nowhere. They put it inside. You see how the people buy? Then they think they're smart. We are smarter than all of y'all. We are smarter than y'all. We will moon that thing for in that thing. And then guess what, now, folks? Then 
let me let me finish the analogy I was making. So then you discover that the guy put that clause in your marriage contract that you can't divorce him. Then you go and you have it removed. Guess what will happen to that guy? He will he will he will fix the attitude. He will start behaving himself. Oh now I can see the I can I can see your comments now. He will face his behavior. You know why he'll face his behavior? Because now the marriage contract now allows you to remove yourself from the marriage if you no longer desire to be in it. So he's going to change his attitude. So when we remove that clause from there, that they put there, that says the other parties cannot leave if they want to leave, because they don't want to leave, they are saying <laughs> we'll die together with you. When I thought ANC said they, they're better than all of us in the CPP, what didn't they say they want that way off for? But you're better than us, then what do you want that offer now? Then you can't go. They may, yeah, they make a treaty buy and they marry, yeah, and I tell you, yeah, and why, why, why would do, and I, and I get no choice, I tell you, yeah. but get a door there, get a door, you can go through the door, or they woman, yeah, and they, they, they woman treating me bad, they woman not respect me, and this, this, this. but the woman go to you, you, I mean, the woman taking care of you, so she gave you beautiful kids, she takes good care of you, she's hard working. So what are you doing there, my brother? Yeah, the door there. If you say the woman are good for you, yeah, the door there. Go to the door. Go to the door. You go. Go to the door. <laughs> hey, the people now respect Mr. Mr. Coming. Mr. Coming are good man. They man they man are injured. And they make him to save Liberia. And he better than Joe Bugger. He better than Yuri. He better he better than Yumli. All, all, all of them that they corrupt. I know what it, what it, what the man doing with them. And coming out to be part of the CPP said. Oh, the man what you're saying that's to be part of all because we're so nasty we're so dirty that, that the man put the thing inside the document that say we can't go that now the one say we now won't go that the man say he now won't go that he now won't let all let all go the man like jacko ain't no ain't 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 no ain't no what ain't no, ain't no, got jacko when jacko who you who you tell coming that baby who me tell <laughs> coming holding on tell <laughs> baby who me tell oh baby who me tell <laughs> the man who you're like jelly jelly yeah, jago. You know, jago not let jago not let water. So when you pass in the water, you get a jago. When you jago, what you take? <laughs> come, come, come here, what take? Baby, 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 let me, let me, let me go. Come, come, he said, no, bugger would die together. <laughs> All right, folks. Now, I brought Henry. Where you? Henry? Henry? Unscrap yourself, buddy. So, folks, you already unscrap yourself. Un unscrap your seatbelt. You're about to get down to go to, to go to class. All right, folks. I, I gotta end this podcast. I gotta go put my GM board down. I see you all. Maybe later on this afternoon, I have a thing. But look forward to the press statement from the CEO COP Executive Committee. It's not signed by me. I didn't sign. Twenty of them. Henry, you're a big boy now, so you can go by yourself, right? Can't you? Hey, uh, you need you need a mask. Hold on, buddy. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give you a mask. Uh, have a, have a good day at school. Daddy loves you very very much. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hold on. Come on. You want to say bye to the to the people? Where's your backpack? Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, you you see them tomorrow? All right. Hold on, buddy. All right. All right. Close the door for daddy now. Be careful. All right, buddy. Come on, go. All right, folks, hold, hold on. Let me, let me make sure he's there. Henry, go. All right. Good boy. All right. There you go. He's off to school. Daddy's junior boy. You ask him for him. Henry, what's your name? I'm Henry Costa Jr. He has to say the whole thing. Henry Costa Jr. All right. Good. So, um, as I said, just a quick re recap before I go. Um, the press release will be out today. You know, in a few hours. From the executive committee of the COP. The highest decision-making body. And then my interview with James Borty. Uh, I hope uh, my people have found it, or I hope somebody has found it and sent it to me. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna be out today as well. It's, 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 all, it's already. Uh, I'm just trying to extract it from the link. And uh, what the hell? All right, folks. I'm making a quick run 
to Philadelphia. I'll see you all.